parts in which we have to find the angle of minimum deviation the telescope is brought in line with the collimator telescope, telescope is brought in line with the collimator <coughs> now the prism table is rotated clockwise towards approximately 100 degrees of rotation this will be a 90 degree rotation a little more than that approximately 100 degrees of rotation after doing that the tele telescope is made to follow the base of the prism which is over here so rotate the telescope along the same direction clockwise watch through the eyepiece watch through the eyepiece and move it until you will get the image of the slit once again brought into the focus of the eyepiece just like this <coughs> we will find the yellow color split appearing on the inside the eyepiece you can see clearly the left side where the split is and the vertical and horizontal crossways are clearly seen now the prism table alone is rotated after viewing the prism table alone is rotated along the same direction watching through the eyepiece and as you rotate you will find that the image of the slit image of the slit moving okay. as you rotate you will find out that the slit image of the slit moves towards the center see that the slit is slightly moving towards the vertical crossway now at one point it will stop further moving and after that it will start moving in the reverse direction Vertical crossover, and then at that point it has stopped moving. So that that particular point is called the minimum deviation point. Now the telescope is fixed in that position. Telescope is fixed, and then using the fine adjustment screw, once again the image of the slit is made to coincide with the vertical crossover by just adjusting and viewing through the eyepiece. Now this is how it will finally look like. <coughs> the image of the slit coincides with the vertical crossway. See that the slit and the vertical crossway are in line with each other. That is called coincidence. Now once again the readings are taken in the vernier one. This is your reading R3. Same methodology is followed. Zero coincidence is taken as MSR. And whichever reading coincides with the main scale is called the VC. This is Vernier 1 reading and Vernier 2 reading for the same R3 position is taken over here and this is your reading R3. <coughs> now to take the final reading R4, <coughs> the radial screw is loosened, the telescope is now brought in line with the first 